Hey kids, um, welcome back. This is module four and we're gonna get started here with line plots. Um, so the problem with you being at home and not in the classroom is that we usually collect data in class and it is about the length of pencils that you and your classmates all have. And so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the data from my class last year and um, you can follow my data or you can have a collection of your own data at home. So uh, since we're measuring pencils to the nearest inch, I thought, okay, I'm gonna get a pencil out and you know measure to the nearest inch. If you have a pencil and a ruler, uh, what you would want to do is just measure your own pencil to the nearest inch. Now, notice that you want to have your tip of one at the zero, okay? And then to the nearest inch, it doesn't have to be precisely exactly, but you have to round it to the nearest inch if you see now that um, it's almost there. Uh, oh, and you're supposed to estimate it, so I was like, okay, well, that's about seven inches. This is my little symbol for inches, but this is also the abbreviation. Then you can actually measure it. So you estimate it, oh, it's about, I might have said six or seven inches, and then you actually measure it, and then it's about seven inches. So the collection of data is what we use this line plot for. So right now all you have is a model on your page that has different increments. And so the word increment means um, the number of pieces. And so if I have half inch increments on this ruler, it means that I only have half inches marked on it. Now, could I measure to other lengths? Well, yes, on other rulers, I can do that. But on this ruler, I can only measure to the nearest half inch increment. So um, all we did was measure it to the nearest inch. But when we collect data, data is all over the place. Like you could have a whole bunch of short pencils in class, or you could have a lot of long pencils in class. Last year we had a whole bunch of brand new pencils because I had just opened a new box. So um, I'll show you how to create this line plot uh, of your classmates' pencil measurements. And, you know, it doesn't matter that we're not in class today together. Uh, the important thing is that we're putting the data on this line plot. So usually in class, I'll say, okay, who has a pencil that is three inches long, three and a half, four, and so on. But last year we had a lot of tall pencils. And so this was our five and a half, and we had three students who had pencils at five and a half. So go ahead and mark three X's. Each X represents one student. Then I said, okay, does anyone have a six inch pencil? And two students had pencils that were six inches long. And three students, one, two, three, had pencils that were six and a half. And one, two, three, four students had seven inch pencils, which was just like this one about the same, so they were all pretty new. And then we had a whole bunch of pencils at seven and a half. So I'm gonna draw the X's and then I will count them and make sure we have all the proper ones. Hold on one second. Okay, 19, draw 19 X's for Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And so <clears throat> obviously this one is going to be the mode seven and a half. There's mean, median, and mode that we will eventually talk about. Uh, the median is the middle number um, that the mean is the average, which may not necessarily be in the middle, and then the mode is the one that comes up the most, and so this one is the mode. So um, you have now constructed a line plot of your classmates' pencil measurements because we're using this ruler to do that. 
<clears throat> so using the ruler, measure your pencil strip to the nearest quarter inch. Now, in the previous video with um, making the number lines, I showed you guys that you can have different increments, what you're counting by, the size of the pieces. And so that we're, we practiced making um, more pieces on our number lines. So this is exactly what they have done for you. And again, it's not exactly representative of real inches here, but that doesn't matter for our purposes today. We're not measuring anything. We're putting amounts on a line plot. So using the ruler, measure your pencil to the nearest uh, quarter inch. So what happens is we're going to take the data and we're going to redistribute it on this number line. Same data, different increments. So, okay, class, how long was your pencil? So we started last time three people at five and a half. But this time when I said, okay, if this is five and a half, how many people had their pencil that was exactly five and a half or almost and only one did? But two people had their pencil that was about five and three quarters. So you take these two and their pencils were really past five and a half last time, but they didn't have an increment to mark that. But here they do. So we have the same amount of X's, the same amount of students who are voting, but the data is redistributed. So at six, uh, we have one. And you know, it's funny, sometimes we'll have like people won't vote or they'll get confused or um, sometimes the X's aren't exactly, uh, they don't add up to 32, which is usually how many students I have. Then for six and a half, um, we had one. And then we had three at six and three quarters. And you can already see that for six and a half, I had three before, but now it's really like, well, they were kind of shorter than, um, maybe one was bigger and then another one was shorter, but another one goes up. So the data is redistributed. So now at seven, we only had two for this one instead of the four. And then seven and a quarter, we had one, two, three. And then we have 10, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten at seven and a half. And then we had more uh, at seven and three quarters. And that was actually just one, two, three, four, five. And we may have had kids leave the room. I'm not 100% sure. So the seven and three quarters, here's the half. But technically, all your data would be the same. So you'd have 32 people here, 32 people here, 32 people here. And you would just redistribute your data. But this is fine for now. It's going to serve our purpose. And for the final line plot, um, measure your pencil strip. They have... If you had used a piece of paper and cut it out, then that's what they're talking about. But we're actually just measuring pencils. To the nearest one eighth of an inch. We're taking the data, we're gonna redistribute it yet again, being even more precise. Mark the measurement with an X above the ruler below. Construct a line plot of your class's pencil measurements. So let's go to five and a half. Okay, now one, two, three, four. Here's the half. Okay, here's the three-fourths, but I'm not going to measure in fourths. I'm going to do eighths, okay? So I'm only going to mark the half, and everything else will be in eighths. <clears throat> but nothing is below five and a half. So one is at five and a half. One is here. This is five-eighths. This is six-eighths. This is seven-eighths. It's really hard because you have to be a super careful writer and you just have to have neat work um, one at five eighths two at six eighths one two zero at seven eighths but we still have two at six then at six and one eighth we have one and then six and three eighths we have two more 
So we're, we're redistributing. And so usually the amount that you're counting would be about the same one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that seem to be below, <coughs> excuse me, half. And so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, because we're probably pulling one from the higher amount. So more precise measurements. Then we have a little bit of a jump. So the more precise measurements apparently were closer to seven so then I have a whole collection of data at seven I think I question them on this are you sure that that's what it is but anyway just fill in your line plot two at seven three at seven and one eighth and then one at seven and two eighths and then one two three four five one two three four five uh, for seven and three eighths, and seven and four eighths is the half. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then five eighths is going to be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's five eighths. And then uh, seven eighths, we have two more. And so what you should notice in your line plot that you now have created is a super lot of data here under seven and a half, okay? But when you redistribute it at more precise measurements, it takes down this number because we can be more exact. But then you can be even more exact and it just kind of filters the data out a little bit wider. So that's what line plots do. You collect data, you make a note of the increments. Now, making sense of it on the back here is just the reasoning. So you're gonna use your line plots to complete the following. Um, compare them and write one sentence that describes how the plots are alike and one sentence that describes how they are different. So for example, to think about how they are alike. Um, so if you count the number of X's, the student numbers should be the same. And so I know that last year I had 31 students who took part in this activity. So uh, hopefully the numbers will add up. But if, if you have a set of data from the pencils that you collected at home, that's what your data would show. So you would have however many pencils uh, you had, that's the amount that you would have here. Um, so there are, or they are all like, uh, because they all have 31, X's, okay? And that's essentially one X per student. Okay, and that's on the previous line plot if you're following my students' data. Now, how are they different? Now, we talked about how the data is redistributed. It's like it goes up and then it's redistributed as you get more precise. So you can just say the X's are in different places. Um, they're distributed more evenly or they are distributed. Okay, distributed means like passed out uh, or given out more evenly when we measured more precisely. Okay, so to be more exact means to, to give yourself more choices, okay? Now for B, what's the difference between the measurements of the longest and shortest pencils on each of the three line plots? So you're gonna be, um, you'll have different answers. So on the half inch ruler, go to here and you see that we have the five and a half to seven and a half okay 
So the difference is two inches. Okay, the difference is two inches and it's basically seven and a half minus five and a half. And that gives you the two. Okay, that's where you get it. Oops, where are you? Wake up, wake up, be in focus. Okay, it'll get in focus in a second. Um, and then on the quarter inch, ruler, the difference, it really will focus. I'm gonna turn the page so we can see the data. Okay, so we have again five and a half, and then we have seven and three fourths. Oops. Five and a half and seven and three fourths. Five and a half and seven and three fourths. And you can use your number line, and again, it's it's the two, but it's that one extra uh, quarter. So is two and a quarter inches, okay? And on the one eighth inch ruler, I'm sorry, I go back and forth between inches and inches, uh, the difference is and here you have five and a half and seven and seven eighths. Seven and seven eighths minus five and a half. Minus five and a half. And get your common denominator. And you get your two and three. Okay, so the difference between each one is that we're more precise, again, in our differences as we have more choices. Finally, write a sentence describing how you could create a more precise ruler to measure your pencil strip. What could we do uh, as a next step? The next step would be to... Oh, I'm almost done. Oh. That's okay. The next step would be to make it even more precise. So we went from half inch to a quarter inch to eighths. And what would be next? You get your little ruler and you look and see, well, what comes after eighths? How many pieces can be in between? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we could use 16 Okay, or we could create a ruler with uh, more pieces. You could, you could even take it down into smaller pieces, but normal measurements don't go, if you're using inches, don't go smaller than sixteenths. Then if you wanted to be smaller, use a metric system and then have millimeters, which are even tinier, plus they're easier to convert. Uh, with more pieces. I'll finish the sentence. More pieces. So there it is. Um, that's lesson one, and it's all about those line plots. What's nice in the homework is I believe they give you, yeah, they give you, um, I think they give you a set of data that you have to uh, interpret. So anyway, I hope these are helpful. Uh, click subscribe if they're helpful, and uh, I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.